I'll tell you what guys and girls, having a motorcycle to get you to work every single day is just an absolute godsend. It just makes those everyday trips to work just so much more enjoyable. And there's nothing better when you've had a really stressful day at work and you have a motorcycle to take you home. It just melts those stresses away, man. It's so good. But of course, over the years, those trips can get a little bit monotonous. So in today's video, we're gonna jump on the lovely ZH2, we're gonna go for a ride, and we're gonna give you just a few ways that you could make your everyday commute just that little bit more enjoyable. So yeah, let's jump on, let's go for a ride. So, how are we doing guys and girls? Welcome back. All right, so yeah, getting to work every single day, you know, I, I've been there where the trips can be just, cause you're doing the same old trips every day. You're having to get up early, you had a stressful day at work and then you have to try and get home through the traffic and things like that. Well, a motorcycle can help in a lot of those cases where it's, uh, you know, it is a, a good stress reliever. Woo! Especially when you can do that. <laughs> oh, the stupid camera. Have to get one of those, uh, one of those wrenches. Be able to really tie that one down. Yeah, guys, so, all right, let's, let's jump straight into it. Now, these are some of the things that I've tried over the years when I've been doing a job where I've had to go into the office every single day, I've had to go somewhere every single day, and I don't know, hopefully it will help some of you guys. If you're thinking more things like, well, yeah, the traffic is bad and it's gonna take me longer to get home, but I'm more comfortable in a car or something like that. Well, maybe this will change your mind. So the very first thing that I would try and do, be your own personal best. <laughs> be your own personal best. So if you have a, a trip that you have to do to get to work, then see if you can beat it every single day. Set a timer, maybe have like a phone mount or something like that. Set a timer and see how long it takes for you to get to work and try and beat it every single time. Now, I'm not saying that you have to blast through speed limits all the time, but you know, how, how you can improve the rate at which you get to work through filtering, through other ways. But of course, you know, if you did want to make it a little bit more exciting for yourselves then yeah you could certainly try and push the boundaries of your bike but don't don't tell anyone i i told you that <laughs> but yeah that's one of the things that i think makes getting to work quite fun on a motorcycle is seeing how quickly you can get there and i've actually even surprised myself sometimes especially when compared to traveling in a car anyway how I've been able to get to work in a ridiculously short time when I've really pushed myself. And again, this camera is faltering. Come on, camera, come on, just hold out for me. Just 10 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, it can be a hell of a lot of fun as well. Just, just trying to beat your own time every single day and just see how you do. And of course, I mean, tying into this, you could try different routes as well. I mean, this is actually one of the routes that I use to get to work, but there's a number of different routes that I use. Yeah, some take longer, some are shorter, whatever. It's not the most direct route, but it is the most fun. And a lot of the times as well, roads like these, where they're indirect routes to a specific destination, or if they're in a town or something like that, they're less traffic. So you can actually really, really have a load of fun in those twisties in the morning before you get to work and obviously on your way back home as well, or you can try a different route on the way back home. And I know that a lot of you are probably like, well, no, I just want to get from, I just want to get home from work. I don't want to be hanging around longer than I need to. I just want to get home. Yeah, I get that. I, I totally get that. And the thing is though, is that these trips, you don't want them to be like way out there in terms of how far they are. You know, unless you really, really want to just have a really good blast on your motorcycle but remember that having a motorcycle is all about the enjoyment of it it's not necessarily just about getting to places you know you have to be able to enjoy the experience and in a lot of cases i find that 
riding a motorcycle down roads that either I don't use very often or roads that, I don't know, they give me a, a slightly different experience over a, a, another road, for example. You know, like this is the road that I take instead of going down the motorway. Just things like that. If you have a motorway journey that you have to take, maybe try the country road route instead. And of course, the longer your route is and the more flexibility you have in terms of where you can go or which direction you can take to get to a specific place. All right, let's see if I can get past this car here because they're starting to wind me up. <laughs> here we go. Woo! Man, this bike just makes overtakes like they were nothing. <laughs> So fun. Woo. Yeah, trying trying slightly different routes can make all the difference, guys. Can make all the difference. Honestly. Yeah, just give them a go. Maybe have a look at a map one day and just see. Just see which ways you could go to get to work and try them out one day. Maybe give yourself an extra 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. Just in case you get lost or something, but you know what I mean. But yeah, so you've got, trying to beat your be personal best, you've got, yeah, trying to find your different routes. Now I'm gonna kind of go on a bit of a, an opposite point of view here. How efficient can you be getting to work? This is one of those things that I've actually done before, but you can only do this really on modern bikes where you have a, uh, what's the word, an MPG meter, and then do your trip, your trip meter reset and see how much better MPG you can get. Now again, this kind of depends on the kind of rider that you are, because if you really want to have a blast on your bike, or maybe you're one of those people that uses your bike a lot because of the fuel savings, well, you can save a hell of a lot more fuel on a motorcycle if you ride efficiently. And this is some of the things as well that I've tried before, especially on the ZH2, it's an absolute gas guzzler, but that's most of the time because of the way I'm riding it. But you can ride very conservatively on a motorcycle like this, and you can get some really good MPGs out of it, especially compared to what you might have got beforehand. So yeah, getting those MPGs, honestly, it's just another thing. It's just another way that you can challenge yourself. How can you get slightly better MPGs every single time you get to work? But yeah, again, it's just, it's just challenging yourself. Trying to make yourself either a better rider, a safer rider, or even just how you can literally just have more fun on your bike. I mean, speaking of fun on your bike and speaking of safety and all that, well, another thing that you could try is doing a little bit of research on new riding techniques. So if you go on YouTube and you search advanced riding techniques or something like that, you have a bucket ton of tutorials on how you can do certain things on a motorcycle, whether that be engine braking and rev matching so you can get that kind of more race-like experience. I mean, we have a video like that as well of our own, so I'll definitely leave that in the top corner for you. But even if it's things like getting longer lean angles or deeper lean angles or shallower lean angles, whatever you want to call it, whatever the right terminology is. But yeah, it's just trying new things on your motorcycle. And you're just seeing, just seeing how you do. Yeah, I know cyclists can be can be a pain, but you know, that's how they like to get around, so <laughs> not a lot you can do there. But yeah, just trying out new techniques, trying out the rev matching, trying out different types of braking that you can do as well. Just try and hone in your skills or maybe even look at safer ways to ride in terms of riding position on the roads, etiquette, rider etiquette. Just all sorts, all sorts of little things that you could try as a rider. And you never know, you might actually end up incorporating it into your everyday riding. I know that I have done in the past. Tried something new and then all of a sudden it just becomes part of my, my riding style, so to speak. I mean, as we're talking about new things that you can do on your motorcycle, well, when it comes to modern bikes, there's a lot of tech that comes in with modern motorcycles. Things like quick shifters, things like different rider modes and different traction control modes and I mean you could even get motorcycles with electronically adjustable suspension as well the H2 SE model of this bike has that electro electronically adjustable suspension so that's another really really neat little tool 
that you could use to just have a play around with your bike and yeah just seeing what else you could use i mean i i, I personally wouldn't use the launch control you know i wouldn't try that out on a on a run because you know you kind of look like a bit more like a dick <laughs> but things like the cruise control you could definitely use adjusting your suspension before you go out on a ride is something you could definitely do just to try it out just to try and make that riding experience just a little bit more varied i suppose and a bit more just um yeah just something just something just to spice things up a little bit yeah guys and girls i mean that's kind of like the list that I had in kind of like the back of my brain. So definitely let me know now in the comments if there's anything that you like to do on your daily commutes when you're going to work or if you just make rides regularly to a specific place or something like that. You know, what, what kind of things do you do to try and make the ride a bit more enjoyable? Do you listen to music? I mean, I know that's something that some riders do. I don't know if I'd recommend listening to music or not, but those of you that do it, well, I'm not going to try and stop you by any means. I absolutely love listening to music. So, yeah, it's certainly, certainly, again, one of those things that you could do. Even if you have anyone that goes to work to your office that also rides motorcycles, you know, maybe you can commute together or something if they live pretty nearby. So, yeah, it's definitely something else that you can do. But, yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And if there's any suggestions that you have in the comments to make your ride just a little bit more enjoyable, I know that some of you are going to say, well, the ride is the enjoyable part kind of thing. And yeah, that I totally agree. <laughs> I don't know. There just seems to be a lot more involvement from the rider when it comes to the daily commutes as opposed to just driving a car because you're just in a box, you know, and you're not really all that actively participating. You're just fiddling around with some pedals in the steering wheel and kind of there you go whereas with this you are actively kind of moving the bike yourself you know that you have all of the control over the movement of the bike and yeah it just adds just so much more it's just it's such it's, it's, it's oh god what's the word it's a dynamic kind of trip more dynamic trip when you're on a motorcycle when you're on two wheels as opposed to four but yeah leave a like guys and girls let me know what you guys think down in the comments of course and hit that subscribe button We've got another video coming up just after this one, so make sure to check that one out if you want to. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.